thank you for always pushing me, helping me to succeed in whatever I needed. Um, they always encouraged me when I said like I wanted to be valedictorian. They supported me and now here I am. So without their support, I probably wouldn't be here. Um, I would like to thank them for supporting me throughout all my school years from kindergarten and to just motivate me on becoming just a better person. I would thank my parents for always pushing me to do my best and being really supportive with academics and sports. Um, thank you for helping me out, but I really wish that you wouldn't have checked Skyward so much. If my senior year was a movie, I would think it would be Inside Out because this year has been full of emotions and as the year is ending, the emotion of getting away with friends is kind of sad. It's kind of valid. It'd probably be Talladega Nights because, you know, I gotta go fast. I, I do everything fast. <laughs> so, yeah. Airplane. Like, disaster after disaster. <laughs> When I was a freshman, we were sitting at lunch and a kid walks by and trips on a grape and he just hits the floor. And it was definitely a you had to be there moment, but it was so funny. Some of my funniest memories are Colonel Spry's stories. He retired a couple of years ago, but he told stories about monkeys hurling poop at him when he was deployed and there was a cadet, it, they all involved poop for some reason, but there was a private who pooped himself and he could not get clean, so he h hid under a bunker in the hot sun and basically cooked until they found him later. So he had some pretty funny stories that were kind of crazy. The homecoming dance that we did as a group of friends, um, we had for the football homecoming, a group of guys in the senior class got together, I think it was about 12 of us, and we performed this dance that we had practiced for about a month, and we went out in front of the, half the school probably, and performed to a song chosen by the dance team. Uh, this year, my first and second period, the CCMA clinical class, it's always a lot of fun when we don't have clinicals, and we're always just laughing, and ever since the beginning of the year, we've all gotten close, and it's always just such a blast. So it was during one of our band rehearsals. We had just finished a rehearsal out on the football field and they said, oh, we can do one more run because it was starting to get cloudy and we didn't know if it was gonna rain. Like, we'll do one more run, it's not gonna rain yet. In the middle of our run and did start pouring down rain. And so then we all like ran off the field and ran back to the band room and it was just a lot of fun because everyone was soaking wet it was just crazy, everyone's going wild. Um, so it was just really funny to see everyone like panic at the same time, it's a lot of fun. But I remember in my freshman year when we had just taken midterms and in my AP biology class, Ms. Dabney, uh, we had plenty of free time at the end because we got our midterm over with. And so me and my brother pulled out our switches and played Fortnite on a hot spot. And it was so laggy, but it was really fun. And it's one of the things I remember most about my time here. Me falling at my first track meet. <laughs> so back in freshman year during band camp, um, we were practicing marching fundamentals and during one of the resets, I was walking backwards too fast and I tripped over the girl behind me and broke my wrist. <laughs> during freshman orientation when 
I first like went into the high school for the first time and it was so big and I kept getting lost and I kept having to get help from other people and I remember on like the first couple days I was carrying a map around the school to try to figure out where I was going but now it just seems small but back then it was so big. Um, I'm, I try to like forget this but um, I wrote this song about this guy <laughs> and I used um, an instrumental and you know I was really pouring my feelings out and then these people that I thought were my friends kind of sent it out and then it got around the whole school and everybody was making fun of me and my song so that was really humiliating but I've grown I've grown I would say thank you to Mr. Barker Miss Walker definitely she is my uh, journalism sponsor so I've learned a lot through her uh, based on me uh, being more outgoing and I, sh I go to her for advice a lot because she's very experienced and she's also my AP psych teacher so I've learned a lot in general from her. Mrs. Gregory as my spectrum counselor has made the biggest difference for me at Blackman. She has helped me so much throughout the years but also through the college admissions process this fall. She helped me so much with writing my essays and just making the process really smooth for me. The teacher that helped me to become a better student is Dr. Jones because she helped me become confident. Mr. Doherty's class, uh, he teaches Latin. He probably has influenced me the most because he is the one that I could connect to the most. Uh, I could really, I could really cut up around him. I could be uh, joyful, I could be, uh, I could talk about anything that I wanted to with him. He was more of a mentor and a teacher. And I didn't just learn about Latin, I learned about life skills too. Probably physics with Miss Wilson because she like, she sits down and she helps you work through stuff and helps you until you really know what you're doing. Probably Miss Bauman. She was always very strict on us and she had a cry room in case we all needed to break down and go cry in the corner after none of us understood at all what she was teaching. <laughs> I would say I'm definitely more outgoing and more open to new things and um, just the maturity level. I I'm actually pretty similar to when I was as a freshman. I'm still driven, determined. I'm a little more confident, but I've always been a pretty confident person in myself. I'd say the biggest way I've changed is to step outside of my box and to not expect perfection all the time. Well, starting off freshman year, I frankly was an anxious wreck. <laughs> Very much an anxious wreck. I feel like Ever since then, I've come a lot more, I've come a lot more into my own. I feel like I know who I am a bit better now. I feel like I found a group of people who I love and I care about and who care about me. I feel like I've now, I've found my place and I'm more confident in myself. I definitely think I'm a better person. I'm better at keeping secrets now. <laughs> my freshman year, if you told me anything, I would have gone and told someone else immediately but I'll actually keep it to myself for now. <gasps> Pass the mic. I'm malicious, mean, and scary. My sneers could curdle dairy, and violence flies, my hands are not the cleanest. But despite my evil look, and my temper, and my hook, I've always yearned to be a concert pianist. So dream on. Dream on, dream on, dream on, dream it till your dreams come true. Yeah. Yeah. I would say Hero by Mariah Carey. Um, I sing that song for like every occasion in my life, but it really does like represent a lot for me, like finding the strength in yourself to keep pushing and keep going forward because at the end of the day, all you really have to fall back on is yourself. So Hero by Mariah Carey. Sing it. Sing it. <sighs> no. I don't want to. When a hero comes along with the strength to carry on, then you cast your fears aside 
And you know you can survive When you feel like hope is gone Look inside you and be strong And you'll finally see the truth That a hero lies in you I think Black Women Pride means to me is being able to support one another and go out to athletic games, go out to uh, just the town, be friends with each other. I think being able to support the Black Men name is Black Men Pride. Black Men Pride is really just having fun, but also being the best student that you can and trying to make everybody's lives the happiest and easiest that they can be. Ooh, Black and Pride probably means showing up and making the best out of your high school experience because it really is up to you how much like you get involved and in what you choose to do with that. So for me, it was being involved in all that I could and showing up to the game, supporting my friends, going to the pep rallies and making the most out of the experience here. Black and Pride is really just understanding that black men creates a community. You know, almost everyone goes to the same neighborhoods and we see each other all the time outside of school, extracurriculars. Black men people are just very involved. And so we really just create this family, this black men community. And so it's wonderful. Black men pride is basically everyone coming together, whether it's through sports, activities, classes, um, and everyone just supporting each other and cheering each other on throughout the school years. I think having Black Men Pride means that you're not ashamed of who you are and you're very confident in yourself. And I feel like our school is definitely very confident and it makes me feel very proud to be um, a graduate of here. Always turn in your work on time and don't be absent because that's what will get you behind. My advice for underclassmen would be to be true to yourself. One piece of advice is to never give up. The only limitations on yourself are the limitations you place on yourself. So be determined and put in the work and you can do anything you set your mind to. Go Blaze! Go Blaze! <laughs> two more times. One, two, three. Go Blaze! Like, with uh, two cats. I don't know. Cats. I like 40, those. Two. Forty-seven. <laughs> who, who counts? <laughs>
Yeah. What's your favorite study snack? I don't study. Ryan. Tell me the truth. What was the most boring class you took? Oh, English. English? I, like which English? All of it. Is it on? No, not Is it one? Like one of the orange ones? No. no. Oh, it's my yeah, but I don't know which No, I one. wish we had one. I thought there was like an orange and a blue. Got it. Oh, no. Okay, be honest. Uh, how is your parking job here in the parking lot? Um, honestly, right now, I give it a 10 out of 10 because I'm taking up two parking spots today. And I think it just really shows how much better I am than mm -hmm. people. I yeah. see. I see. <laughs> Hey, I should be on the football team if you really think about it.